Hello. Uh, I'm going to show you how to make an invention that I have called CV2 Dash with cooldown. Basically, it gives someone a dash ability and it has a three second cooldown on it. So, yeah, it's fairly simple. Uh, obviously, it will help if you have knowledge with CV2. Uh, if you don't, it might be confusing for you, but I think it's pretty straightforward if you just think about it, like logistically. So, yeah, let's uh, get started. Alright, first things first. Take out your maker pen. I have mine favorited, so I can just reach behind me and pull it out. But if you don't have that, go into your watch, go to backpack, and hit use on the maker pen. And bam. Alright, now that I switched to POV, uh, go ahead into your, your maker pen menu, hit open palette. There's this handy little button in the in the top right called Circuits V2. Go ahead and press that, and then you'll be graded with all these chips. And now we can get started placing the chips. So go into your search bar and type in. I think it's get local camera. Yeah, get local camera forward. So just get this, plot this kind of anywhere. Uh, then you want to get a get local player uh, you put that like on top and then I'm gonna need an event receiver which is in the commonly used section Bam. then we can look up vector just look up vector we're gonna need a vector split and a vector create those are important. After that, we can go ahead and get our two velocity chips. So go ahead, get yourself a velocity set. I'm gonna need two of these. You can use velocity ads, but I find it a little bit better to use uh, two velocity sets. After that, hit back a few times, go to the commonly used section, and get yourself a delay. We're gonna need one delay, two delay, three delay, four delays. We're gonna need four delays. It may seem a bit overkill, but you'll see why. Uh, I'm just gonna take the time. Take always take the time to organize your stuff so that it's nice and neat. Then we're gonna come back over here and take some if chips. So we're gonna need that there, and I believe it's two. So two if chips. And then we can look up a show. Notification. We're gonna need four of these. After that, let's look up left hand. We're gonna get the player left hand velocity, and we can put that just kind of right there. Let's go ahead and look up vector again, because there's one thing I forgot to get, and that was a vector get magnitude. Uh, that's, a, that's a very useful thing for uh, with the vectors, at least in this case. Then we can go into the logic section, get a greater or equal, and we can get an or, and then we can get a less or equal. Then, after that, we can go ahead back into commonly used, get another if chip, and this if chip will be right there, so to the right of that. Then we can go all the way down to variables, and get first thing, which is a variable boolean. So, I'm gonna go ahead and organize this a little bit, and uh, I'll be right back. Alright, so I finished organizing. Uh, I have added a few get local players, uh, just to make the whole thing a bit neater. You really only need one, but I figured I'd just get a few more, make it nicer. Um, after that, you can take out your configure tool, configure the event receiver that we have, go to chip settings, and the event will be update 30 hertz. Basically, just this just means that it's going to be constantly updating. And uh, then we can go ahead and configure this variable bool to be something like uh, cooldown. Submit. And we'll name the second one cooldown as well, because they need to be the same thing. If they're not named the same thing, then the system, the cooldown system, will not work. So, I need that. Then what I like to do is I just like to take out my wire tool, and then just tap the, uh, 
like the go to blue thing. Uh, it's very useful. I don't really get why people don't use them, but whatever. To each their own. Uh, for me, my testing, uh, I found the best thing is 25 speed. Uh, and then we could just configure this delay to be 0 0.4. Configure this velocity set to be 0. So we want no velocity uh, after 0 0.4 seconds. Or you can configure this to be whatever time that you would like. Then this delay will just be 1. This delay will be 1. And then this delay will be 1. Very repetitive. <laughs> then we want to switch this bottom cooldown. Just tap the, uh, the boolean, the red, little red pin there, and that will turn it to true. We are finally ready to start wiring. So, you have your wire tool out. Go ahead, take this get local camera forward, get that into the vector split. I take this X, wire that to the X on vector create. We take the Z, wire this to the Z. Uh, don't do anything with the Y. Then this vector will be our direction, and then the target of this velocity set will be our get local player right here. After that, go ahead and take the execution that will happen once we set the velocity. And take that, put this into the run, and then after this delay, we will set this velocity again. And then the target of this velocity set will be get local player, and the direction of this will be our vector create as well. So with this velocity set, I'll take the execution, pipe this into the run, and then when this is run, we will play this notification, and that's not right. <laughs> Whoopsies. I made a goofball error. Okay, that's a little bit better. Basically, I just switched these two around. <laughs> so after the delay of this, we will then play this notification, and then once this notification is played, we will run this one, and then after the delay, We'll run this one. Once this is executed, we'll run this one. And then after the delay, we'll run this one. Once this is played, we'll take the execution from this and then we'll put this into our if chip. Now, looking at this, we will take the true cooldown, so the one that just has true on it. We'll put this and this will be our condition for the if chip. Uh, if this is true, then we will put it to false. And if it is not true, if it's false, we will put it to true. And then this boolean right here will then be our condition for the first if chip. Then we can wire this event receiver update 30 hertz. The execution will be this, so it's constantly checking if it's true or not. And if it's not true, then we will take the else and then play this. The condition for this if chip will then be our or chip right here, so the result of our or will be the condition right there. Then we can go over here to this get local player, get this player, bam, right there, vector, this is the vector magnitude, and then the magnitude of this will then be our a's for both the greater or equal and the less or equal. And then we can go ahead and uh, wire this, wire both of these just to the or chip right there. Alright, so now we can configure these uh, zeros and zeros. Uh, so, make sure your wire tool is out. Just click on it. And from my testing, I found the best value to be around 4.3. So, I would say put that somewhere around there uh, for the greater or equal. And then for the less or equal, make sure it's the negative of it because that would not be good. So, uh, for in this case, I'm going to put negative 4.3, because if it's positive, you're just going to keep going. <laughs> now we're going to shift our attention to this delay chip in like the top right, and take this run, and this will be our another execution for the if chip. Uh, if you didn't know, signal chips can take in multiple, uh, like I can wire that's there, I can wire pretty much anything uh, into a signal chip, into an execution chip, but it can only give off one output. Uh, it can't give out multiple inputs like CV2 or like CV1 can. So, just might be useful to know. After that, we can go ahead and configure our notifications. So, this first one I'm going to put as three, second one will be two, third one will be one, and then the last one will be dash is ready. 
Oh, if I could press shift, that'd be cool. So now it's just some is actually not done. I'm uh, stupid. So <laughs> if this is true, <laughs> take the then, and that would be our velocity set for this, making the whole circuit complete, as as you can saw there. <laughs> but now let me turn off streamer cam so you can see the the delays and stuff. So streamer cam's off. I just go ahead and swing my hand. Three. Two, one, dash is ready. So yeah, that's how you that's how you complete that. Uh, if you want, you can always just turn up the values on this. Uh, similar to like five might be good, honestly, because yeah, you know, really depends on preference. Yeah, it still works. It works fine. And if you want the uh, if you want the play to go farther, uh, then you just have to go ahead and configure this delay to be. I don't know, somewhere around... Oh, alright. <laughs> Probably put it around like one second, so like a full second, if you want it to be a little bit longer. Uh, so then I can just... Keep going. And uh, let me straight. that the cooldown does work. Swing on my hand, swing on my hand, bam, dash is ready. So, yeah. That's how you make a dash ability. CB2. Uh, very, very fun. Very nice. Could be useful for like a tag room or something. You know, if the guy's trying to get away from somebody, you just tag him, dash away. But yeah, so have a nice day. See ya.